Okay, well, I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, uh, faked um, magnet motor, a permanent magnet motor. And uh, I'll give another link to the video. Um, that This uh, thing here is what I'm kind of replicating now. He has no driver visible. It's just the magnet motor. But he has a candle to show that there's no air going at this. Then he has a clock that uh, shows the time so that you can see that it, the uh, video is not being looped back and forth. Another thing about these uh, magnet motors is a lot of times they play music and you can't hear the air jet when you do that so that's why they play the music but on this one here you can hear the motor running you can hear it going click 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 and here again this shows there's no air being blown at it and then uh, there's a clock to show that it's not being looped but i'm having a lot of fun with this thing now you know some people like uh, playing video games and are going outside and doing whatever <clears throat> but I, I get a big bang and I'm making these little motors and trying to replicate uh, somebody else's uh, design um, what I've added here is this trigger arm that wasn't there before and there's a little pieces of wire that come up that hit that toothpick at just the right time to turn that magnet and some of the magnet motors you can see the guy using the magnet up and down to make the rotor turn well, this guy rotates the magnet back and forth with a mechanism, and you can do that with your hand and make that wheel go around. But I'm doing this um, with a driver that's basically just a pulse motor is all I've got here. Now, I showed it acting in here, but it actually works better as a real pulse motor. This doesn't do a lot. <laughs> this is just like a red herring, this thing here. But it's fun to look at, and it's fun to listen to. So I thought I'd do this video. But um, this is replicating the one that he shows the out his window, and he shows people walking by, and uh, maybe it's him walking by over a period of time. And if I continue on with this, what I'm going to do here is probably put the driver in that cavity there and make like a fake piece of wood that looks like plywood right there to make it look like a solid piece of wood, like a piece of plywood. And we all think that maybe he put the driver unit in the base of his vertically mounted rotor. Goes around like this and he put the driver right underneath where the magnets went. I don't know. Uh, it's an extremely good uh, um, illusion. I'm just calling them an illusion. But uh, let me blow this candle out and I'll show you another thing. As you can see the smoke. And here again, the um, I guess the camera's not picking this up, but uh, anyway, when I had this doing before, the smoke wafted around in here, and you could see that there was no air currents blowing on this. The other idea was uh, they mentioned that you could have a driver that's running over here out of camera view that could rotate that, and that's another, and I've done a lot of these remote uh, magnetic linkages to these things, and that works real good. Uh, it'll work right through wood or plastic or whatever in quite a ways away. But this is just a pulse motor. It's all that is with um, a driver that's running off of a capacitor and, um, and a reed switch. It's not a very big capacitor. It's just a 4 farad uh, 2.7 volt. And, it, you know, it'll run for a while. I've got a real fine wire coil on that thing, so that slows down the discharge on the uh, capacitor. But that's, uh, that's what he may have done. And he mentioned to somebody that he had run this for two hours. And if you used a button cell with a real fine wire coil, and you had all the friction and the balance worked out, you might get a two-hour run out of a button cell. Um, this here again, this is a super capacitor, 4 farad, 2.7 volt. You know, I get a few minutes of runtime out of it, but it makes a real good video and a good illusion. But this is something else I've been looking at. Now that's running on inertia. Just the inertia in the flywheel. And you can hear it winding down. But if I get this thing set up just right, and I'm lucky, 
I can get that thing to run for quite a while just on the inertia in that flywheel and that rotor I put the driver back up to it here and it'll go again But that's all it takes to make an illusion. And um, I enjoy uh, looking at these illusions, and, and that's what they really are. They're illusions. The, unfortunately, the people uh, make it sound like it's actually a propulsion, uh, perpetual motion machine. Uh, but uh, to me, they're just fun, fun devices to study. And I get a big kick out of this. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.